Oh, look in there. Oh, that is fabulous. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're doing a cracker. I've got strawberries, I've got rhubarb. We're not making a strawberry and rhubarb pie. We are making strawberry and rhubarb turnovers. Something slightly different, nice and quick, take away, munch as you're going. Fantastic cold, fantastic warm. Let's show you how to do it. So in here, a load of strawberries, which we're going to just hull and we're probably just going to slice them in half. And we've got some rhubarb, which we are just going to chop through. Now we're not using all of this, obviously. Uh, we'll probably use all these strawberries, uh, but not all this rhubarb. There's too much. So we'll probably do something else with that. Right, let's crack on. So it's a painstaking job. You can either come in there and take all those out like that up to you and then cut it in half or you could just do that and cut it in half and to be quite fair the difference is negligible so whichever way you feel is easier you do it I'm just putting these in a cup at the moment because I'm working out the recipe as we're going along. Let's put that in there. About 120 grams. 120, we're going to do about three cups, I reckon. So 360 grams strawberries. That's 360 grams of strawberries and we're going to want about three cups of rhubarb the same. Fantastic lovely rhubarb there look. So a cup of rhubarb is about 100 grams okay so we want 300 grams of rhubarb and that's 300 grams of rhubarb okay we got a pan we got a pan on now this is a fairly straightforward recipe okay I mean it's straightforward we're going to go in there with our rhubarb. We're going to go in there with our strawberries. We're going to go in there. Lemon juice, salt, sugar, flame low. Now what you could do, you could just leave this mixed up on the side for about 10 minutes until all the juice is released. And then you could tip it in the pan. We're going in there with our cinnamon. And then it's just a case of Sweating down the fruit until the sugars dissolve in there and you end up with a nice sticky mess. Now this is a super quick recipe because we are using store-bought puff pastry. So easy. We've got to keep everything simple on this channel. There's already quite a lot of juice in there. You can see it all. It's pooling up. Now we want to cook this low and slow-ish. And we want to be cooking it for about, oh, I don't know, five to seven minutes, somewhere around about there. And that should be enough to keep some texture in the fruit. But soften it all up. And then it's flame off 
and we're going to let that cool completely and that is our filling for our turnovers we've got that texture in there look you've still got that strawberries you've still got that rhubarb and you've got that lovely thick sauce so all we have to do now is let that cool completely job done our mix is completely cold we can crack on and get these turnovers made. Now I'm just going to bob my oven on to preheat about 170, 175 degrees. Let it preheat in the background. Right, we're using shop bought puff pastry. So we're going to get our puff pastry on there. Now this is really straightforward, we're just putting our mix in there. A bit like a jam really, smells absolutely amazing. Okay and I've got a couple of little strawberries left here look, that we, we saved and what we're going to do is just Cube a little bit of this up and put this in so it goes in whole to give us a little bit of texture in there. And then it's straightforward, just going to put the pastry over the top. I mean, come on, how easy is this? And then to crimp it down, because this stuff is quite sticky, you know, it's defrosted, you just put your fork in some flour and then you can just squash it down. So you've got some flour in there, look. You put your fork tines in there and then they don't stick to the pastry. Look how fantastic they look already. Okay, and then we want to be egg whiting these. So just egg white. Now they don't need to be um, egg washed with egg yolk because there's enough butter and things in the puff pastry. They just want a nice sheen on there. So just get that on there. And then we want to be going over there with a little bit of sugar. Just a pinch of sugar on there, just to put a bit of texture on our pastry. Okay, and because we've got fruit in there, and it's going to steam off, a couple of little holes. And we're going in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. There we have it, out it comes. Oh, 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 look at those. Okay, all we gotta do now is let them cool down five minutes or so, five, six minutes, and then we'll cut one open and give it a taste test. Okay, let's get in here and get one of these cut open. Oh, a nice crunch on there. Oh, come on, are we ready for this? Oh, look in there. Oh, that is fabulous.
Oh, come on. Let's give that a taste test. Oh, you know it's going to be good. Oh, look at all that filling in there. Oh, strawberry rhubarb. Nice, crispy turnover. Oh, mouth's watering. Oh, man. Oh! That is absolutely fabulous. Still got that sour kick to it. Sweet, sour. Oh, the rhubarb, the strawberries. That is phenomenal. Mmm, we'll be covered in pastry and rhubarb, strawberries. Fantastic. That is absolutely sensational. Oh, that beats rhubarb and strawberry pie any day. Oh, on the go. Oh, come on. Eat that with ice cream, cream. Oh, or just like this with a cup of tea. Oh, oh sensational. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends. All that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video. Oh, strawberry there, look. Oh, man.